Well, Chris Cashmar goes the distance and Lipscomb gets a 1-0 shutout for game number one against the University of North Florida as they take the first game. Justin Seaman now joined by Lipscomb head coach Jeff Forehand and coach. That was just a great baseball game between two really good teams. Chris Cashmar was great tonight, but I thought defensively, outside of that sixth inning, and even the sixth inning, you guys still made some plays. I thought defensively, your team was excellent tonight. You know, absolutely. And we talk about the, the catch that Tev made over here to end the inning, and then Vaughn enters the game in the eighth and makes the first out of the eighth going up against the wall out here. You know, as a, as a defensive replacement, the ball always finds you, and he makes one. That might have been the play of the game right there, him coming in the game and catching that ball against the wall. Um, and then Brian catches that pop up in shallow left field um, in the ninth. And then, you know, Chaz throwing the guy out to end the game is, is just huge. I mean, I, it was a good play, I think, on North Florida's part. Probably thought they were going to get a breaking ball right there. And we, you know, threw a fastball. It worked out for us. And, and uh, Chaz made a great throw. And, and But you can't say enough about Chris. I mean, what a game. You know, you go four hits, you know, no runs. Their guy goes three hits and one run. We scored the one run in the first inning on a on a, a walk and a, and a two out double. It's just a great game. Well, let's go back to that first inning because I'm not sure anybody really thought that that would be the difference in the game, that play early on the game. You're always, you like to be aggressive on the base path. If that ball doesn't skid there at the last second, he's probably out, but it's a game of inches. Well, when you, when on that play, our philosophy is, you know, the, the, the percentages aren't with you to get two hits in a row, especially against that guy. You know, so in that situation, we're trying to score from first and force them to make a play. And, you know, a lot of times fans and probably have been on me before about, why in the world is he running that guy in there? Well, that's the plan. You force them to make a play because runs are going to be hard to come by tonight um, on both sides. And, you know, tonight it just ended up working out, um, you know, that they didn't handle the ball to plate and Kate was safe. And, you know, you're right. One run in the first usually is not the difference, but it sure is when Chris pitched as well as he did. Well, if this is any indication of how this series is going to go, it's going to be a tight series throughout two even teams. And this is a big series for you guys just because of where the standings are at. Well, you know, we talk about it every week. It seems like every series is big. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, if you're playing, you know, it doesn't matter. Just pick a team in the league and the series ends up being big. So I'm, uh, I'm just excited about how we play tonight. I'm excited about, um, you know, that we bounce back from Tuesday. Um, and after a solid weekend and, you know, exams are over, everybody's excited about, you know, now we just have, we have baseball in front of us. And tonight was just a really, really fun game. Well, congratulations, Coach. Lipscomb gets game number one against the University of North Florida, one to nothing in the shutout for Chris Cashmar. Big day today, tomorrow for Lipscomb, as it'll be senior day here at Ken Dugan Field. First pitch will be scheduled for 6.30 Central Time, but come on out a little early, 6 o'clock, they'll have the senior day festivities. The seniors will have graduated just before that. And also, make sure and stay tuned to LipscombSports.com and also Lipscomb Baseball's Twitter page as well because weather could be in the forecast for tomorrow. So if we have a change in the time, make sure you're up to date on that.